Okay, so today we are making dessert crepes. The distinction is there because you can have also um, uh, savory crepes. So if you wanted to eat it with like cheese or green onions or bacon, stuff like that. Dessert crepes are now they're I don't I don't want to say that they're like pancakes. Viking barber, oh snap, dessert crepes, yum, yeah. Hang on, I don't have my chat showing. Oh, there we go. Welcome! Have you ever had dessert crepes before? Thanks for the follow, the Viking Barber. Appreciate it. <laughs> Milk, TV. Do you prefer dessert or savory? I obviously prefer dessert. I actually don't think I've ever had a savory crepe because it just doesn't sound like it would like be good. Maybe because I've always just thought of crepes as sweet and, you know, sweet treat and stuff. Okay, cool. I made a key lime pie about three hours ago. Nice! Cool, I'll have to check out your channel. I don't think I've ever had a key lime pie before. How did it turn out? Okay. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of chit-chatting. Um, just to explain, because a lot of people, if you ask them what a crepe is, and if they're not sure, a lot of the times they'll say, oh, isn't it just like a flat pancake? And technically, I guess it is, but when you look at the actual uh, batters, pancake batter will have um, baking soda, baking powder, basically it'll have a leavening agent, um, whereas crepes don't. Um, so that means that pancakes, obviously, as we all know, are light and fluffy and they get nice and big. Um, but crepes, oh man. <laughs> I think I prefer crepes because there's, I mean, you could, I guess you could do the same thing regardless of if it's a crepe or a pancake, but there's just something about the way that crepes are presented that are just a little bit easier for me. It might also be because there's not as much like the foofy, foofy carbs. So hopefully, like, it's not as many foofy carbs, so it doesn't fill up my tummy as fast, I guess. Okay. Rice cooker pancakes filled with banana Nutella. Ooh, I have never had a rice cooker pancake. That might have to be. <laughs> Ooh, wait, I want to show you this. This was, this was like maybe, maybe $10. It's my favorite. Right now, it's my favorite new- it's dirty because I've got rice in it. Look at this thing. It's a two-cup rice cooker. I think it was like- ugh, there's no way it was over 20 bucks. Um, and I got it on Amazon, um, but it's it's a two-cup rice cooker. If you, <laughs> if you cook exactly two cups, it'll cook like that. But it makes perfect rice. There- I had a- um, an, no, not an instant pot. It was a it was a wannabe instant pot. I had one, and it would always burn like the bottom of the rice, and there was always like the hard, like crunchy rice on the bottom, and I really didn't like that. But look at this. It's so small. Oops. It's like six, about six inches. This is about six inches. That's a good size pancake, right? Like basically the size of my two hands. <laughs> but I just wanted to show that off because I I love it. Because there's only me and my husband here, husband here, and I was making like three cups of rice 
because that's that's the minimum in the other one. Just wasted so much rice. <laughs> okay. Now, I will say, today's been a long day, and I'm a tiny, tiny bit grumpy. So if I get a little more grumpy, please forgive me. Um, it's been a long week. Four eggies. One and a third cup of milk. So even though pretty much every time I've tried to say it, I've forgotten something, but I always want to make sure that we do our best to get our mise en place together before we start, and then that way we can avoid having to scramble to find stuff later. Mise en place means everything in place, which means getting all your ingredients stuff stuff ingredients and stuff ready means making sure you've got all your utensils clean pots and pans basically just be ready so I'm just gonna melt some butter now when I melt butter I like to kind of chop it up just a tiny bit helps it so go a little quicker. And just do it in like 10, maybe 15 second increments. Don't be like me and forget about it and then you remember when you hear a in the microwave. Yeah, hot butter explodes. And now, anytime we want to add... I should say this to the camera. I'll say that in a sec. Perfect. Cool. Anytime you want to add butter to... Excuse me, melted butter to a baking recipe, I wouldn't melt the butter all the way through. You can't quite see it there, so I'll show you on this other camera here. There's still little chunks of butter in there. I could have done maybe a couple seconds less, but um, that's fine. But once there's once it's mostly melted, you can just mix it in anyway, and then it'll melt out the rest. Um, and then that way you don't like, like for example here we gotta put it with the eggs and milk, and we don't wanna we don't wanna curdle that and you know, waste all those eggs and milk and stuff. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I got a zojirushi rice cooker made in Japan. I swear I think it was stolen and sold on eBay. It was like $170 cooker I bought for 35 bucks. Dude! Nice! The only reason I didn't get a zoji zojirushi rice cooker is because they're freaking expensive. And yep, two KitchenAids. The smaller black one um, I got 10 years ago or something. And then the big red one I got from Costco maybe beginning of this year. The black one needs to, get, to be re-greased, so I was thinking of doing um, a video on that, but I'm scared to take it apart, especially on stream. What if I mess up and then I, you know, mess up my freaking KitchenAid? And I can't even be like, oh, hey, KitchenAid, your, uh, your product is faulty. Because there's proof. There'll be proof. It sings me songs when I press go. Yeah, my mom's got one too. And then it'll it'll sing, it'll sing for you when it's ready. Four eggs, one and a third cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter, melted cup of. Flour. I guess I don't need this guy. Now I know that we're gonna have to sift, sift these. Um, it doesn't actually. S well, no, it does say it in the instructions. Like with pancakes and stuff. I don't see why you wouldn't just go ahead and sift it. That way you avoid having to deal with any lumps or anything like that. Okay, 
So a cup of flour. I was so stoked last week. My grocer had a sale on butter. I walked out that store with 35 pounds of butter. Nice. They had the $5 nice challenge butter for a dollar a pound. Holy crap. I wonder why they were selling it for so low. That's insane. Congratulations. What a haul. 35 bucks. For 35 pounds of butter. <laughs> Needless to say, I took the whole shelf. Well, why wouldn't you? You're never gonna come across that again, you know? Good job. That's awesome. Okay. My freezer's full. <laughs> Get a big, get a big stand deep freezer thingy. Just deep, I guess. Not a deep. I guess it is a deep freeze, but it's a standing one rather than a one you gotta dig in, dig into. Okay, so a cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar. And a half teaspoon of salt. See, and it bothers me. Now, I say this to myself as well, because I, I also get lazy. But it bothers me because, like, look how easy it is to put these things together. Just, like, weigh, or not weigh them out, uh, measure them out, put them together, mix them up, and then you cook them, and then you have fresh made anything. You know, obviously some things take a little bit more, but, you don't know. Home cooking, man. Okay, so. Eggs, milk, butter, flour, sugar, salt. Sip this together. I'm almost out of sriracha sauce today. I'm so sad as the people I buy from aren't at work yet. Oh. Do you have to go somewhere special to get your sriracha sauce? Do you live, do you live in a small town like me? <laughs> My my kitchen is not straight, as you can see. Oh, never mind. Of course it would. Faster. Be big enough. It's online, but they aren't there yet. I usually buy thirty pounds and thirty-two pounds an order. Wow. Now, do you own a restaurant? Or like a bakery or something? Actually, I guess I could've just put it in the thing with the milk. I didn't even think about that. Ooh, this... This recipe didn't call for vanilla. So... I'd say save dishes, but obviously I already used the one. Nope, it's just half as expensive as the grocer and I love sriracha. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I make cake pops and I go through a lot of white chocolate and... Yeah, I buy a lot of white chocolate at a time. <laughs> it's like a hundred bucks for however much chocolate, which sounds crazy, and it is. But then you think, let me see how much the weight is, because it is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see, 25 pounds. So it's a 25 pound box for a little under 100 bucks. 16 ounces in a pound. You can buy a four ounce um, I think it's four ounces, just under four ounces of the same chocolate in like the little things. They're like six, seven bucks a pack. Bleh. It, it, like, it's crazy. Yeah. If I 
letter here. Where did I put that knife? Did I throw it away? Or throw it away. Okay. So it says to just put them all together and then just whisk it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the milk and the eggs into the flour first. And then I will add the butter just right at the end. Your emotes are super cute. Are those yours? Like they have to be. It looks like a Viking. <laughs> I hope this bowl is big enough. No. I'm purposely not trying to bring down all the flour from the sides right away. See it. Ah, you can't see it. Dang it. Anyway, if you ever if you've ever made pasta by hand before, you know what I'm talking about. But that way, it kind of slowly gets added to the uh, liquid. The flour is slowly added to liquid. I mean, like it just kind of peels off a little bit. On the side there, kind of just peels the flour off of it. But doing it like that, slowly like that, will help you um, avoid big old clumps of flour. The only thing is, though, you have to be careful about um, overmixing because. Yeah. I think when you make pasta that way, you usually use your hands or a fork or something. A fork would probably be easier, but a whisk works too. Anyway. So just beat those eggs in. Just do a half a teaspoon. I lied, let's do a teaspoon. Who does a half teaspoon of vanilla? Oh yeah, I scored a KitchenAid gourmet pasta. Oh no! I've been making bulk batches of quinoa pasta. Hey, I've seen people make crepes and pancakes with blender bottles. That's a really good idea! Like with the little whisk ball? Fuck yeah! That's cool! Also, I'm very, 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 very jealous of your pasta maker thing. Or, er, excuse me, pasta roller. Um, I was looking at one of the attachments at this kitchen store that we were at. Well, no. Okay, no, what happened was I was looking at a standalone pasta maker. And I was like, 80 bucks? That's so expensive. I'll go see what the KitchenAid one looks like and how much it is like hundred fifty dollars <laughs> or more something like that something crazy may as well buy just just buy the standalone but then at the same time it's like but then my my kitchen it could be the one doing the work okay so we have the milk in eggs just the butter left just right in the end just mix it up just a little bit Perfect. Okay. Let me tidy up here. Oops. Tidy up here first and then I will get bacon. Not bacon. Cooking. Got it for half off, seller on eBay used it only a couple times but didn't want to actually spend the time and use it. Look brand new with box attachments and everything. Nice. Looks like I'm gonna have to start scrounging around on eBay, damn. Okay. Crepes! We're gonna cook. So, 
My setup today is a little bit different. This is actually my first time setting it up where my stove is um, the focus of this camera. So if you have any feedback on that, please let me know. Um, Alrighty. Ooh, I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. Okay. I, I was already planning around on playing with it, but in high school, my friend and I learned how to learned how to flip things in pans from making crepes, so we would just flip them. But it's been a long time, and I'm not sure if I can anymore. Okay, so let's get this warm. Now we don't want to do we don't want to start with a hot pan because. We don't want the crepe to burn on the bottom and we like we want we want to have a really nice like golden brown color not like not golden brown ebay is the best especially for appliances i'm using my excalibur dehydrator i got for only seven seventy bucks a week ago making pina colada fruit leather oh that sounds really good are you adding any like anything special to it Pine uh, just pineapples coconut and then is it gonna be boozy? <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> um, dink around while we're waiting for that to to warm up. Oh wait, I need the butter's there. The knife is there. Now you shouldn't need much extra butter since there's already some in there. But the first couple, I like to put a little bit. Excuse me, just to make sure it doesn't stick. That would suck. It's a non-stick pan anyway, but. Pineapples and coconut. <laughs> no boozy leather, huh? That's cool. I I always thought that it would be pretty difficult to make fruit leather, but it's actually not that bad. <laughs> With a light soaking of rum. Nice. <laughs> that sounds really good. I definitely need to start scrounging around on eBay if uh, those are the kinds of deals you're getting. I, uh... I really didn't need any need them because I have like a good collection of pans um but my 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 non-sticks are just like I don't know like a $30 set I got off of Amazon but Facebook has been bombarding me with ads for um pans cooking pans and it was between Mizen or Mizen M-I-S-E-N which it was like non-stick but they're like I think their eight inch non-stick was like 60 bucks, something like that, so maybe less. And then the other choice was, uh, see, I always thought it was ironclad, but it's like the clad uh, series of pounds and stuff. Yeah, I bought some. There was an ad that they were showing. Alt clad, that's the one. Alt clad. There we go. Because I'm like, I know it's not hex clad, and I know it's not like you know iron clad, but it's it's not just clad either. Okay, cool. Thank you. But yeah, I've got a, uh, a set of three hex clad non-stick pans coming, and they're they're hybrid, so you can use they're non-stick, but then you can also use um, metal utensils on them and stuff. Omega clad. <laughs> Alpha and Omega Glad. Should be okay. Oops. All right, friends. Let's get started. I'm just only, I'm only. I'm really just gonna put like just a little teeny tiny bit, just because there's already some in the. What am I call it? I don't know which utensil I'll need. <laughs> already used my eighth of the cup. Godly clad! Yes! But, um, 
the ad that got me, because I was totally about, about ready to buy the Misen, Misen, whatever, pens, um, but the hex clad frickin' He took a- he took an electric beater and, like, used it on the... on the pan and stuff. Okay, looks like... Okay. Oops! Wow! Look at that huge streak of- actually, you can't see it. Test crepe. Please ignore. Just testing the heat and the... Heat's kinda... Whatever you, whatever utensil, no metal on nonstick. Yeah, see, that's why I got the hex clad, because uh, you can use metal, and I, I prefer my metal uh, utensils. Crepes, yes, crepes. I'll I'll explain a little bit better what I did for the next one because I. Again, test creep. I wonder if it'll start moving yet. Ah, it will. It's not gonna. I wonder if the sides are too high on this. We'll see. We'll see how she goes. Banana Nutella. I know. I've got my, I've got my little bar, bar jar. Eh, tiny jar of Nutella. <laughs> eBay is also where I got my 1920s sunbeam folk. A toaster. Is it one of those ones that has like the just a little bit more button? That's sick. Remember the first time I saw a picture of that, I'm like, oh, no buttons. There was an old style toaster that I saw. That had, yeah. um, it had like different buttons and it was like, er, settings. And one of the settings was just, was just a little bit more. Because, like, 100% of the time I make anything in the damn toaster, it, I just need it a little bit more. Or, I burn it. Damn toasters. <laughs> Only spring-loaded turn on. Oh. Toaster has never been my, like, uh, focus. <laughs> okay, so. It doesn't look like it wants to... Unless I move it around. There we go. Now it wants to move around. Okay, my friends. Let's, uh... Actually, I should do it this way. No, not that way. Okay. Full disclosure, it's, ol it's only been, like, 50... Yeah... 13 years. 12 years. Since I last tried to do this. But, here we go, friends. You ready? I'm scared! <laughs> flip! 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 Okay, okay, ready? One, two, three, flip! Woo! That was amazing! <laughs> Yay! Okay. And... Eh, the color is just about perfect. Like, just about. Because we, we don't want it to get, like... Again, you don't want it to get brown, like, dark, dark, burnt brown. <laughs> Still got it. Hi, nice. Thanks, guys, for the... <laughs> for the confidence. I need a hype sticker. Hype. Or er, sticker. Emote. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. That's kind of funky, though. I think I need to... To add more milk. I moved from, um, like, basically sea level to about 3,000 feet elevation, and, like, I have to, I have to adjust my recipes sometimes, just kind of, like, add and take shit away and stuff. Viking Barber just subscribed! Wow! Thank you! 
Is it because I landed the flip? <laughs> it's gotta be. It got to be. Thank you very much. Okay, that looks better. Well. Crepe batter is really very, like, you know, watery. Not like water, water, but you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like pancake batter. All right. Okay, so now that color, that's actually a little bit better. Maybe the other one was a little bit under, but that's like, that's a good color right there. We are. Crepe number one. Okay, now that I have that ready and my temperature is good. Crap. I'm kind of scared to not use a little bit of butter now. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of butter on the pan just to help it. And then it looks like from last time the quarter cup did was enough. So. Let's see to do check. Okay. Oh yeah, quarter's about perfect. Okay, so after you pour the batter in, you just want to lift it, lift the pan just a little and kind of just move it slowly all over. Try not to leave any gaps if you can. Come on. Come on! There you go. There. And then, you know, eventually it does get to a point where it doesn't, uh, you know, want to move anymore. And then at that point, we just wait. We wait. So for the quality food, 10,000 years later. Am I being too slow? <laughs> I didn't make it on stream, but I did make um, pepperoni omu rice today for a food food or cooking challenge for one of my food discords. That was cool. I wasn't sure if it would turn out, but it was actually really good. Okay. You can kind of can you see? Eh, not really. So you can see like the little bubbles in the pan, kind of starting to form underneath there. Also, normally don't take your pan off the heat for no reason, but I'm just trying to show you guys. And then you can always just check, kind of pull out the side. Kind of peek underneath. Eh, a little longer. Now, I have strawberries. I have banana Nutella, obviously. I'm going to keep the strawberries in the fridge, though. What other flavors of crepes do people do? Like... Here, do you guys see the crepe? Don't do this. <laughs> see what I'm doing? Don't do it! <laughs> Sweet! Okay, now that one's looking even better. Oh yeah, okay, let's go. Two for two? Wait, I'm gonna do it a little longer. It's not one to come up too bad, or too easily on that one side. Don't make me look like a fool, crepe. Okay, crepes for ice cream burritos. Dude, I have homemade ice cream. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three. Does that count? That was kind of a sad flip, but I mean, I didn't drop it. It counts. Two for two. <laughs> I'm making an executive decision. Also, this recipe told me I'd make eight. 
crepes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Also, Viking, I know you're new here, but I do play uh, games if you're ever interested in watching somebody be bad at games. And ooh, Tiger, Uppercut is now following. Thank you very much. I don't know why I didn't get the notification for that. I'm glad I didn't miss it, though. Thank you for the follow. Are you following me because of the flames? <laughs> oh, also, hi, Kevin. I'm sorry, I saw your name and I was just kind of like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> these two crepes now. Like, actually, I can't even see the details. One's ugly, one's not ugly. Okay, there we go. So now my pan's too hot. I want to show you guys that. <laughs> so this is, this is what I mean by just a, just a li little bit too dark. For me, anyway. I mean, I don't know that anyone would complain seeing that, but... Does flip for follows. I should do that! <laughs> flip for follow. Um... Maybe I'll just keep doing just a little bit of butter. Yeah, so for like crepes and stuff, you always want to use like a low heat. So, quarter cup, swish it around. Yep, and then once it stops, starts to slow down like that. Put it down, leave it alone. For some reason I didn't get notified when you went live. Hmm. Did you turn off the notification? Just joking. I wonder why. Do you... Is it like... No, because you've been pinged every other time. Is it like face or YouTube where you have to like where you e even though you subscribe to somebody you don't actually get notified unless you like hit the bell or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna and take my first crepe and just taste it. See, it was so thin on the sides of that first one that it's basically just cracking. bad for the like the basic just for the basic recipe what would i change maybe i wouldn't add vanilla maybe that's why they didn't add vanilla Now, even though I'm kind of shaking it a lot, it's not it's not coming loose, which tells me that it's not quite ready yet. Even without kind of like checking the color and all that stuff. So it's a little thin too. They're all a little thin. Add a tiny bit of almond extract and vanilla. Ooh, almond would be... I don't have almond on me, but almond would probably even, uh, even that out. Because the flavors... It's... <laughs> It's not a bad flavor, but it's it's heavy. It's just let's see. Almond would definitely like bring it up a little bit. But I mean we're gonna I'm gonna add a bunch of crap to it anyway. <laughs> Alright, 
Dang it. Unless my pan just doesn't want to, yeah, it doesn't want to unsticky. Dumb. Okay. Just a teeny bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember the first time I tried to use almond extract. I was a kid. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Try that again. One, two, three. Oh. Yay. Three for three. I better keep a tally. I'm going to forget. I wish I had some. Ooh. Speaking of extracts. I use almond extract mostly for my Disneyland Matterhorn Mac boots. Wow, fancy! Now I want to show you something, Viking. I gotta shake these up anyway. Excuse me. You will find it on my channel, but I made my own vanilla extracts, and I use different kinds of uh, alcohols. Got a white rum vanilla here. Doo -doo -doo. And these are all homemade by yours truly. I've got a vanilla vodka. It's just, I figure vanilla, or excuse me, vodka is the standard alcohol that they use for vanilla. And then the one I'm super excited for is the bourbon. Bourbon vanilla. Da -da -da. I've also got um, lemon and orange. They're not as exciting. I've got two bottles of lemon just because I, I make a lot of uh, make a lot of lemon 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 cake. And lemon orange. No giant collection of recipes on Discord. No, because it's a relatively new Discord. Oops. You can help me start one if I'm assuming you mean you're on my Discord. But if you are, you can help me start. I do. I also want to do a cooking challenge, but oh, I got so much to do. I just need to be able to focus. Can I drop my box? What what's a box? I don't know what that means. So quarter cup. Moving. And then one thing to note that even though you have like your perfect temperature at one point, eventually your pan will start to get like hotter than you want it to be at that temperature. So you have to turn your stove down and that's what I had to do. Remember, we want to have a low, low heat for crepes. That way we don't burn it like I almost did on that one. Box with all my recipes. Some collected, some are mine, most are edited. Is it like a link to the recipes or are you gonna like spam? Because if, if you're gonna spam, I'm just worried about people getting spammed. Otherwise, if it's a link to a box, then go, go for it. Much appreciated. There's a lot of crepes. Okay, so instead of standing around, I think I'll start prepping some of my stuff. Start with stodo bitties. I don't really need to do anything to the banana Nutella. But I really like strawberries too. <gasps> I can use my fancy new cutting board. Yeah, use a bigger one. Ooh, 
Ooh, and I can use my, my fancy new paring knife. It's curved on the edge, so it's a little easier to play around with. Easy for me because I know how to use knives. If you don't know how to use knives, please don't play with knives. Just, I feel like I have to say that every time. Yeah, but the streamer said that I could play with the knife if it's rounded. Okay. These are starting to not stick as much and it's pissing me off. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Dang it. It's not st <laughs> I ripped it! No! Damn it. You are my failure, Crepe. You are the one I couldn't save. Or flip. <laughs> I can't flip it for shit. Okay. Does that count as a fail? That counts as a fail, huh? Maybe I need to start putting a little bit more, more butter. Mm, don't actually want it. Do I want to use bananas or do I want to just, or strawberries or do I want just, banana Nutella just sounds so freaking good. I was like, oh, you know, I'll make some strawberry ones. I'll make some banana Nutella ones. Especially having the bananas here now, I can smell them. <laughs> Some collected or uh, linked imager with all recipes as well. That's cool. Much appreciated. I know that there's some people in there that cook this or want more food stuff. So, guess I don't. Oh, I don't get to play with my my little knifey. The wells. Dude, this lady said that this would only make eight crepes. I've made four now. <laughs> and I haven't even made a dent in the in the batter. Like and then my cup's gonna fall. Ah. Luckily though, crepe, because there's no leavening agents in crepes, you could throw, throw the batter in the fridge for maybe a couple days. And it would be just fine. Crepes for breakfast too. Having more foodie people in there means that I can hopefully start up a challenge soon. Because I think there's only a few people. And I also I also want to be able to uh, participate. So they're in the recipe book. Cool. Thank you. Um what did I say? I also want to participate in the challenges, so I, I wanna make it that the community, the Discord, is who votes using reactions, I guess, maybe, but... Challenges? Like a, like a cooking challenge? Um, like, if you look in food, there's a picture of the pepperoni omu rice I made for the challenge. The challenge in that server was a breakfast dish with pepperoni in it. So, I want to do stuff like that too, like a, oh, a banana Nutella challenge. You know, make a make a dessert with bananas and Nutella. You know, or just stuff like that. It's just it would just be really fun. 
tried to do it in high school with a couple with a few of my friends, but I think we did it once and then it just didn't really work out. It's hard. It's hard. I think there was like four or five of us like in there in this guy's kitchen. Excuse me. I think it was technically only the two that were facing off, but I think my friend and I were I think I was baking. I made a strawberry excuse me. I made a strawberry shortcake and it failed. And I remember being very, very upset. I did a mac and cheese contest in my town and won before. Nice! That's cool! I wish we had kind of like cook-offs like this. My mac and cheese is way too good. Ah, confident, huh? I'm interested. Mac and cheese sounds good. I have that for dinner this week. No. At the very least, I'll only believe you if you cook your noodles in the, uh, in the sauce. If you cook it separately, get out of here. Okay, here we go. Now it's moving. Ready? Number five. Woohoo-ish. Yay! You know, I thought I would at least do, like, kinda badly on those a few times, but... Yay me. I make my noodles by hand. Oh, that's right! I make my noodles by hand, which really helped. I bet... Oh, man. I... When I was young and stupid, I was like, man, people are so hoity-toity with their fresh pasta. What kind of difference does it even make? Fresh pasta is so freaking good. I think the guy I was dating, his mom and her boyfriend was, you know, they were making fresh pasta and we made uh, ravioli, which is annoying to make. Um, stuffing those. Well, not, I mean, you know, putting a little bloop, 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 and layering, got a cut and stuff. Yeah. Um, but they did that with arugula and uh, deep fried oyster. Are they oyster mushrooms? No, not oyster mushrooms. What are those big old mushrooms that aren't uh, oyster mushrooms, but not shiitake mushrooms? Oh, there it is. It is oyster mushrooms. Oh, I was thinking of something else. Okay, they are oyster mushrooms. Yeah, so they were um, breaded and deep fried oyster mushrooms with um, arugula salad. I can't remember what dressing we had. Yep. Almost dropped that. I kind of just want to keep making them so I can keep flipping them. Is that bad? That's probably bad. <laughs> Do you usually stream on Sundays, Viking? It'd be cool to be able to pop in on one of your streams. I'm usually cleaning, like preparing my kitchen the entire morning for streaming on Sunday, so hopefully... So, it looks like a little bit more than a quarter is- a quarter cup of batter is better. Batter is better! Um... Just makes it a little bit more thick. Just a little. Again, crepes are thin. They're supposed to be thin, but you don't want them paper thin, crumbly and stuff. Extra thick base, dub liner, cheese, five other cheddar rolls I'll never tell. Spices I'll never tell. Topped with a light sprinkling of shredded walnuts. Ooh. I don't know how, about, how I feel about the walnuts, but I wouldn't mind trying them in mac and cheese. That's interesting. Yep, cooking every Sunday. And you said three hours ago when I first started, so you must start at 
about 12 o'clock PST or prior to that, which works because that means that I can actually like put up your stream and just watch you. <laughs> There's. I made a I made a streamer friend, and we stream at the exact same times on the exact same days. So you can't always watch her, or at least if I'm wa if I'm watching her, it's just uh, AFK somewhere. I see Nutella and banana. Finally, something I know how to cook. You know how to cook Nutella and banana, or you know how to cook grapes. The walnuts paired well with the other non-specified cheeses. Oh, see, now you're you're gonna you're gonna give me enough information to narrow down the cheeses. Just just joking. I don't know anything about cheese. I really want to get um Parmigiano Reggiano or whatever, <sighs> like actual Parmesan. My the one dude that I dated. He was super into cooking and actually got me yeah, to be a little bit more knowledgeable about stuff. You'll never get it. One of the cheeses I make myself. Wow, you must be, you must be like professional chef. Like you just, oh yeah, I've got this dehydrator. I've got this thing. Like you must be super, super, super into food, which is super cool. I wish that I didn't spend the last 15 years of my life or eh, 10 years of my life thinking, oh, I don't want to bake. I don't want to cook. You spread Nutella on banana <laughs> after you peel banana. Do you think I could do a stream on that? <laughs> nope, I like to cook and bake is all. Barbering for life. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oops, I didn't realize he was old. That's really cool. Very different uh, interests. But... I don't mean that in a bad way or anything. I hope it doesn't come off weird. So, are barbers specifically for for males? <gasps> I've lost. Oh, I haven't been counting. Okay. That was one. Okay, I ate one. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm six for six, friends. Well, five and a half for six. Cause that one that I did kind of like folded on it on itself. Not necessarily, but for the most part, yes. That's really cool. I need to actually like. I've done quick buzzes, but that's about it. For... I've also dermaplane before. Dermaplane. Is that when you, like, have that thing and you... Micro... Derma... I don't know. I don't know anything about that crap. I don't know. Basically straight edge. Razor the whole face. Oh, I see. Like when they lather up like the face and they've got you like... Dermaplaned. So, okay, so it wasn't what I was thinking of. You just go... That's cool. Now, this is, this is just my... That's a normal shape. Okay, so th this would be the shape. The dermaplane would be like... Face. Now, I'm curious what made, like... Did you always know when you were young that you wanted to do like barber stuff or did you like come across it or what's the story there? Yeah. Whole face. Ooh. My cheeks knows everything. I want, I want to get, I don't know what they're called, the little blackhead pen things, it's got a little thing on the, on the thing, so push all the blackheads, blackheads out or whatever, 
I used to be a sculpture artist, but that doesn't pay until unless you're dead. Aw, that's true. Artists, artists, or excuse me. Yeah, artists in general. Like painters and stuff. Oh no, I kind of burned it. I forgot what I was saying, I lost it because of the burning, but whatever. It's a lot easier to flip when there's more blah blah. I still I gotta stop. I'm having so much fun just making them. I should uh I should make another batch and just make uh, a meal me meal fur. Meal fur. I don't know how to actually say that. Basically a million layer cake or whatever. You just do crepe, whatever. Crepe, whatever. Crepe, whatever. Crepe, whatever. <gasps> I could do Nutella in between. <laughs> Move to hair as it was an easy transition. Oh, interesting. Now, what? Uh, well. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I gotta stop making crepes. There's way too many there. <laughs> Dang it. I brought out this other tool because it ended up being needed. sugar rum sauce. I do have rum. I've never made a brown sugar rum sauce before, but I totally could. Bananas foster crepe? <laughs> <laughs> I was in high school and we were doing uh... I think they were having like a meeting or whatever, but anyway, the class, the cooking class I was in, they asked us to come and like do like a demo demonstration. And basically it was, we were doing, um, flambés, I guess for all of them. Anyway, uh, what I remember for myself is I, I had to make a banana, banana, uh, and flambé it, banana something and flambé it. And my chef goes, now, whatever you do, don't burn it. What did I do? I burnt it! And we were, again, these people were having a meeting. We were in like a small room. Like... I burnt it. The, s the smell of banana, just like... Oh shit. The smell of burnt banana and like burnt sugar and stuff. That doesn't go away very quickly. Oh, 
want a big fridge. I want like multiple fridges. Like several at least. And then like a big old walk-in cooler. Left that a little too long. <laughs> it doesn't want to flip because it's... Yeah, see this is way... I left that way too long. No, I don't want to kill you. Better that burnt fish. Ooh. Burnt fish. Ew, we went to the sushi restaurant once. And the only thing you could smell was fish. And I remember re I remember hearing it when I was a kid. But fish or seafood. No, specifically fish, I think. Fish is the only food out there that at the more it smells like itself, the less you wanna eat it. Like, you should not be able to smell fish. <laughs> not like that anyway. That was gross. And like, I don't, I don't think I could, I don't think I could eat. I'm so picky. I'm so spoiled and picky. La la. <laughs> like that. Flubby, you have so many emotes. And they're all adorable. Get off. I wanna, I remember, now, this I don't think I can do, but in high school I, I could do like a, cause like, all, right now all I'm doing is a flip, but, and I know my friend and I, we were really very much playing around with smaller pans too, but we were just flip, not that many times, but at least two or three, makes me feel really cool. The funny thing is I can't do that when I'm like cooking, like sauteing and stuff. Do double flip, somersault, backspin, handstand, double turn. No, see that's too easy. That's way too easy. You gotta give me something challenging. Woo! It didn't touch me. Or the floor. That one, I'm gonna count that as a as a win. I wish I used a smaller pan. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang it. Woo! I don't think I can flip the big old pan very well. Ooh. I can flip once. Dang it! It's not really... I don't know how to make it go more. I, every time I try to go harder, it comes <laughs> it comes towards my face. Flip the pan, but not the crepe. Oh, like magic, like... <laughs> like make it flip and like throw the crepe up. Flip the pan, catch the crepe. That'd be cool if I didn't... I think I would burn myself. <laughs> Whoops. My wrist is getting tired. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be one of those times where the handle breaks and the pan falls and all you hear is ping. Yeah, pretty much. At least I'll have a good YouTube video to make. Dang it, it's not working. I give up. Next time I'll make it in the small pans. Yes! Actually, Flubby, technically I do have a flip emote. Let me show you. Bum-bum-bum-bum! Behold! <laughs> my, my flip emote. 
Maybe I should call it flip. Instead of rage. Rage works too. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one in the pan. Stupid. I'm mad at it. It wouldn't it wouldn't flip for me. Oh, I don't wanna take a burnt one. Okay. Banana Nutella. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just spilled water everywhere on my desk. That sucks. That really sucks. I spilled soy sauce on my desk once before. And on my keyboard. Keyboards. You made them. Do you make everything? Holy shit. <laughs> I spilled soy sauce on my noodles before. That sounds like something you would do on purpose, though, Flubby. So I don't know. General you. But okay, wait. How do we want to do this crepe? So there's a, there's there's a few ways that you can serve crepes. So you can either do like a kind of like a cone, cone looking shape. Oh, it's so cute! Never mind. <laughs> you can make a cone shape like this. Or you, you peel the banana. I know this, I know. <laughs> Love it! <laughs> You're special, Flubby. <laughs> or we can do it like this. I kind of like, I like the idea of doing it like this and then I'll make the stuff peeking out at the top. Okay. Okay. I'll get to the peeling soon, Flubby. I gotta get through this part first. Nutella! Your butt is... I have a custom HH key keyboard, Pro 2 lube, spring altered, dome change, Bluetooth, and hydro dipped wood grain with custom artisans. Holy crap! If it's already hydro dripped, you're fine, right? That's true. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I need your help with this. You told me you know this. Flabby, what do? turn this I don't know how to dab I'm that little kid have you ever guys have you guys ever seen that gif with that little kid there's just like there's just there's just a line of kids and they're all you know taking turns dabbing and dabbing and then the best 
boy, he comes up and he's like... I love him. He's my favorite. He's my hero. Anyway, educational. Banana. How to peel banana. So, I learned that... Um, well, you know, everyone opens it, you know, like that. Monkeys open it down here. Which makes sense. Yeah, exactly. You bought them up. Ba -ba -boom. Um, and then if you ever get a banana that you just, that just won't... The banana that just won't quit. Not trying to open. Throw it. Show it who's boss. Educational. Um, what was it? I was in one of my do 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 in one of my discords. So even I'm doing that wrong. Ah, oh, Flavi. Can you do that for every banana? <laughs> As I need them, sure. I'm not gonna do it for every single banana. <laughs> um, but somebody posted a meme. So <laughs> you could watch that all day. Does that mean I need to make like a boomerang? Boomerang bananas. Like those Instagram boomerang stories or whatever. But anyway, um, somebody made a meme of this. Like they just put these in like a bowl and start eating it like noodles. <laughs> Why? Now! Now, Flubby, you're right. Okay, let's go. Oh. It worked this time, Flubby. You did it! <laughs> oh, Flubby. I probably don't need all of these bananas, but I'll do it with the round ones up top. And since we're make it in, making it into a cone, we're only going to put one on the bottom there. I feel like I can eat more banana when sliced. Ooh, now I have to open a banana to show you guys how weirdly I eat bananas. But fine. Niner Ball, you better be paying attention. I'm gonna open a banana again in a second. I wanna show you guys how weird I am. Eventually highlight it and I will also eventually make possibly a YouTube video out of it just for you but da, 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 da. Grape oh you can't even see it Grape Ready the clip buttons okay guys are you are you getting ready for the That's a good idea. <laughs> I really like that. Oh no. Future subs are gonna be like, what the hell is this channel? <laughs> hey, thanks for the sub. <laughs> okay, wait, now I gotta show you guys my funny way of eating bananas. Okay, Niner, you ready? Yeah, it looks yummy. Thanks guys. 
Yeah, so yeah, if you can't open a banana, nothing you like down here won't work, the monkey way won't work, the human way won't work, do it the Martha way. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now I gotta show you guys the weird part. <laughs> I love it. I wonder what it is about that. <laughs> oh man, okay. So. When I was a kid, and up until today, I was a weirdo. But I really liked... Like, uh, this was still on the banana, I just didn't want to do it on there. But I would poke my finger into the middle. <laughs> and then separate them into thirds. <laughs> and then I would do it for the whole banana. But they just... They just always separate into thirds. <laughs> And that way, it was like eating three bananas. Oops. Banana! Do you do that with hot dog buns from Chinese bakeries? Uh, no, but I did it to pop flats, whatever the big 24 flats of cans were. <laughs> Going to the grocery store with my parents, just walking along. Boop. Boop. I'm curious. What kind of hot dog bun from a Chinese bakery? Like, I don't know. I can't think of. Oops. Chinese bakery, hot dog bun. I can smell hot dog. Oh! Yes. Anything I can tear apart, I tear. Like, that has sections like that, I tend to tear apart. They're so cute. Maybe I should make some. Be really cute. Anyway, um, deconstruct. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I hate that, uh, that fad. Here, I guess I'll show you on the whole banana. Just, <laughs> he just splits it. Boop. I'm a weirdo. I probably shouldn't be showing you guys this because you're like, what the hell? We're gonna follow this girl for the way she cooks? I love bananas. <laughs> but also banana Nutella, which I want to eat. Give treats to my pets. Ooh, Flubby! Oh, pets! Turn the light on so you can actually see. Puppies, come here! That one's Atlas, and the little one that popped his head in the corner there is Deku. Come over here, puppies. Good boys, now they can see you. Sit! Sit! Deku's already begging, he's like, I want it! I want it so bad! Good boy. Atlas, gentle, gentle. Oh, he doesn't want it. Gentle? Oh boy. Gentle? Oh, good boy. <laughs> Welcome back, Viking. You missed my weird banana habits. <laughs> also, puppies eating bananas. Do you guys like that? Was that yummy? Oh yeah, you like that. Deku really liked it. It's almost fair. That oh, wasn't too bad of a stream. Since my husband doesn't actually want a crepe, I'm gonna have to 
Oh, look, my camera's not on me. Since my husband doesn't want to crave... He doesn't want to crepe what madness. I know, right? Damn. What am I going to do with all these bananas? Other than give them to the dogs. <laughs> and eat them. I made them all funny like I do for myself. Mm. I should stop eating bananas and actually eat the crepe. Somebody said something about an ice cream. Ice cream crepe? I wish I could make like a like an actual like cone cone for a crepe. I used to bake and give out my food to everyday heroes, teachers, nurses, etc. But since pandemic, I haven't been able to in a while. Yeah, when I was in baking school, um, they had a they had a store at the school. But obviously you can't sell, like, you know, ugly... Ugly baked goods and stuff, like stuff that just doesn't, didn't really quite turn out. Ice cream burritos, oh that's good. Yeah, and I would just, <laughs> I would literally just take bags. Bye Blubby! Thanks for hanging out! See you next time. Um, but I would just take the stuff that nobody would take and just put them, put them put them in the bag and then just I lived in Vancouver, Canada and there was and is a huge homeless population especially where my school was um, so between the walk from the school to the SkyTrain station which was maybe two minutes there's always at least if there isn't a homeless person at this point when I get to the station there's at least four or five every time all the time it's kind of it's sad, like, Vancouver has a crazy issue with, with that, like, I wish that there were an easy way to fix it. Okay, so, ice cream burrito. I've got ice cream. What else do we want to put in the burrito? Burrito! I can put strawberries. Ooh, I'll do strawberries. So I can actually use my strawberries. Uh, stupid ugly bananas. Strawberry ice cream burrito? I have like literal. literal strawberry ice cream. <laughs> Nachos! Cut it up, deep fry it. Turn it into sweet nachos. So would I just do like a scoop, scoop, and then wrap it? I guess so. Better finish up the... Wait, no, seriously? You've never made nachos from churros recipes? Nope, I've never made nachos or churros. <gasps> I can play with my tiny knife! Tiny knife. I don't think I'll need that many strawberries. Nachos are bomb. I'm sure they are. I really like churros. churros. I can make a churro crepe. <laughs> Basically, just cinnamon sugar. Mm. 
Don't forget, guys. When you're using a knife, be safe. I wish I had my usual cameras. Everything's kind of like all over the place. I'm not gonna try to do like a knifey type of thing. Just please be safe if you are not familiar with using knives. Oops. <gasps> the leaves! Damn it. Don't be a dummy like me. Mm -hmm. You know what also sounds good this late? Red lobster cheddar cheese biscuit waffles. Now see, if, 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 if somehow we were all able to teleport to Red Lobster, I would just eat crab until I died. I would just wanna eat crab. I wanna eat crab so bad. Oh my God, I have crab. Fuck yeah. Later people. Just go, just joking, I'll finish this first. But uh, I'm having crab, man. Yay. We went to Vegas for FanFest way back. And I hadn't eaten crab in so long. Like, my parents, like, hadn't prepared it in however long or whatever. But nothing else really was sounding good there. So I just, you know, oh, I like crab. I hate crab. And then pretty much every single buffet that we went to, I just went straight for the crabs and, like, I'm not talking like, oh, you know, let, let's take like uh, one one set of legs. So like, you know, like when you cut them in half, one side's the one set. No. No. They may as well have just sat me back in that kitchen so I could just go for it. God, I love crab. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You have all the batter in a waffle iron, but the butter garlic glaze all pools in the pockets. Ooh. You can buy the mix in the grocery now. That's cool. I I can't imagine it would be too hard to make. Biscuits, cheddar biscuits. My tiny knife is too tiny. I really wanted to get uh, knives too, but. I already got a new knife, and I want to... If I'm going to get more knives, I want to get more of the same brand as my Japanese knife. Ooh boy, I love Japanese knives. It's always... Just by default, I always just got, like, German... German knives. That's sour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> pie is pretty <laughs> some of the, some sayings are so funny pie dough is can pie dough can be annoying okay let's see I'm gonna move crap out of the way because I I want to be able to take a picture of the burrito one also I totally just bought like a can of can of whipped cream. Don't judge me. It takes too much effort sometimes to which I call it. Takes too much effort to oh gosh. <laughs> Whip whipping cream sometimes. I I have a super fancy easy ass thing for it too, and I'm still too lazy. What was I doing? What am I forgetting? Weird thing happened last week. Oh. Hopefully not too bad. Not too bad, weird. Okay, here we go, friends. Here we go. Here we go. This is my homemade vanilla ice cream from a different stream that I still haven't quite gotten through yet. <laughs> it was okay. Too 
big. Ice cream, I will kill you if you break my freaking portion scoop. God damn you. It's so cute. Welp. I wonder if I should have like flattened it. This will be able to close. <laughs> Probably able to close it, I mean. <laughs> Once it starts melting, I'll be able to close it, but. Oh. Burrito wrapping. Bring the sides in first. Bring the back part that's closest to you over. When you get it to this point, kind of tuck the the edge that you pulled over in, tuck the sides if you need to, and then roll till it's a uh, burrito. There you go. Ah, it's adorable. Get in there! You could, could or should probably close the one side or close the sides a little bit better than I did. But I'm judging that burrito roll. I know the sides. Look at this. Look at his burrito put, <laughs> and then my my forced. My forced way. I don't know how to put the. How nutso do we want to go with the whipping cream? This is bothering me. It's so warm in my house too. Like the the ice cream's already melting. <laughs> Stay there. There, Viking. How do which? There. <laughs> it's beautiful and definitely not fake or forced. Huh? How about that? B plus. <laughs> nice. Even with the cheating, I got B plus. Woo! <laughs> like this? Or just the big one? Should have done it inside. But I need the garnish. It's melting. Melting. I don't know where to put the whipped cream. Viewer help. Because <laughs> if not, I'm just gonna. Going once. Put on after each bite. Mm. I guess so, so it doesn't bloop. I want to take a picture though of my B plus burrito. I know. I wonder if I can write it out with. B plus burrito. <laughs> I almost, I almost, I almost dripped the ice cream too. Did you get to see that? Actually, I, I didn't really hold it there for too long. It's so cute, and I hate it. Stupid burrito. You can't even see like the top of the B because it's starting to. Drip. Now it's a B. <laughs> but I already put the plus on it. <laughs> Fine. 
I'll keep the plus out of this key too. I'm not gonna try to eat that with my hands. Hmm. I'm wondering if I had overmixed it. The batter. It's like. It's like chewy. Mm. Actually, this is a lot better than the banana one. <laughs> Ice cream is so fun to make, and so easy. Does it taste like B work or C work? Tastes like A plus, but I might be biased. <laughs> In all seriousness, taste-wise, I would probably put it closer to a C or maybe even a D. I don't like the texture of the um, the crepe. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think of how I would change it next time. Definitely almond. Almond would be really good in this. A plus you, Gordon Ramsay. Please. <laughs> he makes me cry just by being on TV. <laughs> I'd be. Have you ever seen that gif? The one he makes and puts bread. Like on the side of someone's head. What are you? Idiot sandwich. That's me. That'll be me and Gordon Ramsay. Or, or, he'll think I'm really young. And he'll think I'm a little, little kid. And he'll be like, oh, poor little dummy. Try harder next time. <laughs> Either way, Gordon Ramsay. He'd probably bury me. <laughs> Especially after seeing uh, my fucking burrito. Master Chef Junior, I know, right? Do a challenge with people my own size and of my skill level. <laughs> Master Chef Junior, fuck yeah. Do you watch his uh, his cooking stream? Because I think he started a cooking stream, I think. That'd be fun. That'd be shitty. I I wouldn't want to host, but I would want to I would want to judge um, on Nailed It on Netflix. You ever seen that? I'm gonna eat the bee on my burrito now. It's like the the ice cream is like melting and cooling like all over the place. It's disgusting, but it tastes so good. How about that? It looks it looks like C work and lower and lower and lower and lower as I eat it, but it tastes like C works. <laughs> Barely have time. My only real free time is Saturday Monday. Barbering the rest of the week. were just too thick at the end there. Because that first one I was... Maybe too eggy too? Because I it asked for four eggs.
Okay. I'll stop eating on stream and just let you guys continue your thing. <laughs> Barbara all the time. Not now, not that everyone's getting sick. That's true. Well, hopefully it's a good kind of busy, because there's bad busies, but then there's some busies that are like, oh man, this is awesome. I'm only getting like three to four haircuts a day. What what's what would your average be? Average on like a decent day, not like a super busy day. Average is 12. Wow! Still technically unemployed. <sighs> busy day is 18. Holy crap. I guess it's up to people if they're scared or not to come, because it's like, you can wear like your mask and all that stuff. Mask and gloves and stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to burp. I tried to hold it back. All right, so... Uh, for tonight, I'm done streaming and... Tomorrow I'll be... Wait, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday. I thought it was Tuesday. I won't be streaming again. I won't be doing a planned stream again until Tuesday, but I might... It depends on what I gotta do tomorrow. I really can't remember, but I know that there's... Something I gotta do and then I don't really have anything else for the rest of the day, so... Um... Yeah. If I... If I... If I don't stream tomorrow, it'll be on Tuesday. Have a good rest of the night. Bye, Kevin! Thanks for hanging out! Do I gotta wear a mask in here? Ugh, you guys are dumb. See, I... I have my own opinions about everything, but if I'm asked to wear a mask, I will. Um, but I'm not, like, the... Like... I'm not... I'm not either way about most things. Especially when it's on a large scale like that. It's hard to... My thing is, I know that everyone's scared. Yeah, I've literally had people coming and coughing and shake my head. See, that's... That's that's crappy. At the same time, though, there are times when I cough that, that all it is is I need freaking water. And I've, I'm sitting there like... Ugh. You know, like, just because I'm so scared of scaring someone. So, I mean... Where's the balance? I don't know. I don't have any answers. I just want people not to be mean to each other about it, you know? That's all I want. But anyway, before this turns into anything, not that it would, but before it does, I'm a sign off? How do you say it? I don't know. I'm gonna end the stream. So Viking, especially you, thanks for hanging out and uh, keeping me company basically the whole time. Um, it was, it's been fun talking to you, and I did see that you joined my- Oh yeah, wait, you told me that you posted something in my Discord, so... Yeah. I will definitely talk to you at whatever point of day. And anyone else that's watching, thanks- Thanks so much for hanging out. Um, again, I'm not gonna be stream- I'm not gonna be- Not gonna be doing a planned stream for gaming until Tuesday and Thursday, and I don't bake again until Sunday. So. All my recipes. Nice. That's so nice of you. But, uh, yeah. Have a good one. <laughs>